glorious ten years. The respected Kim Jong Un was appointed supreme commander of the armed forces of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on December the 30th, so it's 100 or 2011. The invincible might of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Korea has been fully demonstrated all over the world under his leadership over the past 10 years. Kim Jong Un further strengthened and developed the Korean People's Army into an elite revolutionary army, and into the main force of building a powerful socialist country. He has constantly called at army units since his inspection of the Seoul Dugyeongsu-ga 105th Tank Division of the Korean People's Army on January the 1st, so it's 101 or 2012. He found himself on an artillery firing practice field with clouds of dust, on a battleship with his coat flying in the sea wind, and on an airfield with strong wind, giving the service personnel wisdom, bravery, and the knack of one match for a hundred. He also put forward tasks and ways to strengthen and develop the People's Army at a number of meetings, including the first conference of company commanders and political instructors of the Korean People's Army. Under his guidance, the Korean People's Army has grown to be an invincible army with the most powerful offensive and defensive capabilities. Let us take upon ourselves both national defense and socialist construction. This is a traditional, proud, and glorious slogan of the People's Army. The Korean People's Army is discharging its sacred mission and duty not only in national defense but also in socialist construction for providing the people with a happy life. When service personnel of the People's Army turned out in the damage rehabilitation campaign last year, Kim Jong Un made his field guiders tour to call on them. In Taechongri, Unpa County of North Hwangye Province, he saw the fine village taking shape in more than 30 days, and said with great pleasure that it is a miracle which can be wrought only by the Korean People's Army. And going round the new village built in Gangbungri of Gumcheon County, he proudly said it is the greatest of prize of our party and state to have such powerful revolutionary army loyal to the country and people, and to the party and the cause of revolution. Elated by his deep trust, the Korean People's Army is leaving clear traces of creation in the history of building a powerful socialist country. Kim Jong Un also made great painstaking efforts to strengthen and develop paramilitary forces and establish powerful national defense industry. The parade of paramilitary and public security forces for celebrating the 73rd founding anniversary of the DPRK and the Defense Development Exhibition Self Reliance 2021, which were held this year, demonstrated the might of the paramilitary forces grown into a reliable wing of the People's Army and the development of the defense capabilities of Korea. The ten years which passed with Kim Jong Un at the supreme post of the Revolutionary Armed Forces were written in the history of the DPRK as glorious and victorious years. <laughs>